Hey everyone, Tony Winston here, Jazz Piano College. Um, had a question uh, and I thought I'd do a quick video about it. Somebody said, well, uh, if you play A minor 7th to D 7th, and let's make this a D altered, by the way, can you use the altered scale on the A minor 7 flat 5 and then the uh, and a D altered on D7? And I replied, no, you can't. Because on, check, take a look at this. Here's A minor 7 flat 5. Okay, so the altered scale in A is, okay, so far so good, but then we have that, sh that that's in the altered scale, so that's not going to work. And then there's an F, uh, you know, it almost works, it almost works, but it doesn't quite work because of that. And the scale that does work is actually the B altered scale, but, you know, that's kind of thinking about it in a very odd way. Here's a better way of thinking about it. Look at A minor 7 here. Where does the altered scale come from? It comes from the minor melodic ascending. A minor 7th is really the same chord as C minor 6th, and there's C minor melodic ascending. All right? Also, you could play this as a B altered chord. See, there's B 7th, and there's a, like a flat 9 and a flat 13. And so that same scale is going to work for B altered, the B altered scale. Now, there is a scale that, that fits this. It's the exact same notes. It's just another mode of that scale, but it's called the Lydian sharp 2. And Lydian scale is really, you just go up a half step and play the major scale, which is B flat. That's our basic scale, but we're going to take the second degree and sharp it. So it's no longer a B flat scale because it doesn't have B in it, B flat in it. So, and there you see, you end up with the same scale that you were just on here. All right. And just like if you were playing A minor seventh to D altered, even though the bass goes up a fourth or down a fifth, and by the way, it's the cycle of fifths. Call it the cycle of fourths if you want to, but you're just being a snot. Uh, cycle of fifths, all right? Same damn thing. All right, so if you go around the cycle of fifths, you've got A minor 7 flat 5, and then you go to D altered. Look at this chord I'm playing, A minor 7 flat 5. I move this chord up a minor third to D altered. Okay, that's a D altered chord, flat 9, flat 13. So on A minor 7 flat 5, you're going to play that same scale. That's, that's the scale, all right? So, now, there's another name for it if you start on A. They call it the Locrian sharp two, because Locrian is B flat major. And then you sharp the two, which is the B flat. And you end up with this. But you know, that's the same, and, and that's the same scale you play for F seventh if you were doing a Lydian dominant scale. So these are all modes of the uh, minor melodic ascending. All right, so on A minor 7th, think about that scale. Whether you want to think of it as B altered, F Lydian dominant, uh, A Lydian sharp 2, or just, you know, the C minor scale. That's the way to go. Now on D 7th, if you know, you know, which scale it comes from, it comes from the E flat minor melodic ascending but you know it's such a useful scale the altered scale I would just learn it as the altered scale starting on D you know so I'll just do a little bit of improv now using those two scales all right I'll be using we'll call the Lydian sharp 2 which is just the C minor melodic ascending and then notice I'm only going up like a, a minor third even though the bass note moves up a fourth I'm going up just a minor third with my chord to get an altered dominant chord, all right? So same kind of chord, but functioning differently. And now I can use D altered. All right, so let's see, I'll play some two five ones. This, this, and that, all right, here we go. All right, use both scales that time.
by the way, I'm using yet another minor melodic ascending here on the one chord. So it's when you're playing these box voicings or rootless voicings that are kind of specific, like this one, you know, the altered scale fits it the best. Not to say you couldn't use diminished scale on it, but... In fact, you know, the way my mind operates, you know, whenever I would do one of these box voicings, my fingers just know what scale to put with it, whether I'm using it as a, an A flat unaltered or D altered, or maybe I'm even using it as C minor seven flat five. You know, if my hand is in this shape, I know the scale to use. Sometimes I, I'll go to the wrong chord because I'm, I'm not thinking about what chord I'm actually playing, you know. But. All right, so anyway, I hope that answers your question. And, um, you know, this is what I do day in and day out is uh, watch videos on YouTube and think about how I can maybe explain a particular subject a little bit more clearly. I know sometimes I fail at that, but I do try. And so keep asking questions. Uh, I love the comments that I get on this channel, and I really appreciate all your support, especially my Patreon subscribers. So until next time, uh, take care, happy practicing, and I will see you again soon.